What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have great news to discuss about the uncovered jailbreak for the iOS 12. It's closer than ever and it has a very special but very interesting feature that would definitely help you to pretty much jailbreak faster. So yeah, just a few hours ago Pound Own posted this, which is a follow-up to one of his tweets from a few days ago in which he was telling what is still to do for the uncover. Now he posted quote, progress update for the first public beta of uncover cover with Cydia and Substrate support for iOS 12. So done, done, done and work in progress. Let's see what he means. A few days ago he posted this, what's left for the first public beta, fix a bug in core trust workarounds. And this of course has been marked as done, fix the sandbox patches, again, done, clean up the implementation, done, do more private testing to make sure that it is safe and this is still in progress. Private testing is still being done. Now there is a very interesting feature that will be part of the uncover. He posted it in here, quote, hey Siri, install Cydia. And yes, as you might have realized, this is pretty much using the Siri shortcuts. The account SamG is Ninja, which is part of the development team for the uncover, or mostly for testing, I'm not entirely sure, posted this video in here, which shows his device pretty much running the uncover jailbreak for iOS 12, and the way he activates the jailbreak break is by going into Siri and of course telling it to install Cydia. And of course Siri responds by starting the shortcut, which in turn pretty much runs the uncovered jailbreak, which automatically presses the jailbreak button. So by the time your application has started, the jailbreak already began. So as you can see here, the entire process is on the screen. And once that finishes, you would be jailbroken with the uncover. Yeah, this means that you no longer have to even open the application anymore. However, you still have to sign it every seven days days if you're using a free developer account or of course if you get it from Ignition or App Valley or from Tweakbox and so on you would have way more time. Imagine just opening Siri and telling it to jailbreak your device and it would just open and cover and jailbreak automatically. That is actually very nice and that is thanks to the Siri shortcuts which allows you to program various actions depending on what you're telling to Siri. So if you tell it to jailbreak it would open one specific application and do one specific thing because that application probably listens to that specific event. So yeah, it's a very, very interesting thing to do. And of course, I'm definitely waiting for the uncovered jailbreak. Once this is released as a public beta, I will definitely make a tutorial on how to use it. But yeah, most of it is actually done at this point and it's all a matter of testing. So of course, if you're running iOS 12.1.2 and iOS 12.0, all the way up to iOS 12.1.1, do not update to 12.1.3 or to 12.1.4. However, do save your blobs. Now, I know that I'm saying this in every single video, but there are still people out there that ask me, well, should I stay on iOS 12.1.4 or should I stay on iOS 12.1.3? Of course you don't. I mean, it's not a good version for the jailbreak. So yeah, 12.1.2 and lower. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm GSNow. Until the next time, peace out.